There we go. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on WAC 100 and short from no jumper, getting into it on Clubhouse, and not all hell done broke loose. And I'm at links in the description where you can watch the full video and listen to everything that was said on there. And it's a few layers to peel back here. Now, I'm assuming what happened was Sharp. And I had recently seen, I thought online that him and WAC 100 did something together on Clubhouse and everything was all right. But I guess on this day, Sharp went in there, the people on the stage and them got to going back and forth. And depending on how WAC 100 feeling that day, it depends on how he was going to react. And what Sharp has to know and anybody else on Clubhouse, nigga, you not winning no WAC with no argument with WAC 100 or no back and forth. When he say three things, it's a wrap. On power room, I sock shit out and we got to get out. Once you hit him three phases from whack, 
He is pressing the line all the way to the wall, and he going to get you up out of there. He going to make you tap out or calm down up on there. That's just what Wack going to do if you're trying to win the argument with him on there. It ain't no winning with Wack. Now, when it comes to Sharp, the employee talk, Clubhouse and other apps online, bro, you know, this is a big thing in our culture where people want to say what your stance is or what your position is and give you your title. We got introduced, a lot of people got introduced to Sharp through No Jumper. Sharp and went viral from an interview on Soft White Underbelly. And then, you know, Adam saw, you know, hey, this dude is a great personality. The people rock with him. The fans support him. The supporters like what he bring. Brought him on No Jumper. Went up on there. So the people tapped in. Adam decided to keep bringing him on. Sharp argument is, hey, bro, I don't go to work up there every day. I don't get a W-2. Basically, I'm contracted. So for y'all to call me an employee, and he feels like, hey, bro, y'all trying to minimize my role in the game. He said, like, hey, bro, I'm not under nobody rules. Yeah, when I go in there, we work together, then I get off. Everybody else is like, hey, bro, you don't have a platform on your own, so therefore you work for Adam. That's going to be something that everybody going to go back and forth on. Sharp is very polarizing in this game. The people be tapped into him no matter what the content is when it comes to, you know, yelling at women, getting into it with women getting into it with dudes and things like that. People want to see Sharp. You know, every interview might not go viral, but he got a place in this thing and this game of content because he's just getting into it, no doubt. Wack 100, we know what it is with Wack. Wack is a walking content master by himself, nigga. Wack doing things like this. Wack getting on Clubhouse telling industry stories, putting, you know, we know Wack is entertaining, no matter how you slice the pie. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. K, man, I want to say them boys, y'all squads that, man, get everything cool and smooth, bro. Y'all bros rock with no jumper and people that no jumper. Get it understood, man. Y'all ain't got to take it nowhere else. Y'all got y'all little shit here, man. Y'all both doing y'all thing. Go up. It's a beautiful Sunday, man. I want to put some good energy out with my people, man. Let's chill, relax, watch this Super Bowl. Cool little breeze out here. Ace time tonight, man. Good energy today, man. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. More coming. Tell me what y'all think.